Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Bugisto. So in today's video tutorial, we'll be seeing how to add attributes and how to display them on the product page under the more information section. So right now you can see that I'm at the storefront of the Bugisto web store and here you can see that on the product page, just under the more information section, uh, we have the size and the brand. Size is the small size and the brand is the Spencer for this particular product that's the watch product so we'll see how we can uh, basically uh, create the product attributes under the attributes option in the admin backend panel uh, we'll also be seeing how we can assign the product attribute to the attribute family by editing the respective attribute family and uh, how we can uh, go to the product edit page and see the respective attribute under the respective group to which uh, to the respective group to whom to which the particular attribute has been assigned to and from there we will be able to assign the value and save the product and then on the storefront uh, under the more information section we will find that particular product attribute uh, value being displayed under the more information section there but before i proceed further with this particular video tutorial today please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up so the very first thing that we'll uh, be seeing right now in today's video tutorial for the bugisto itself is how we can create the product attribute under the attribute option so for that we'll go to the bugisto back end and we'll be entering the email address password and tapping on the sign in button to sign into the admin backend panel there so we have successfully logged into the admin backend panel now to create the product attribute under the attribute options we'll have to go to this particular section and here we'll go to attributes here we'll find the complete list of attributes that we have already created as you can see and uh, from here you can uh, delete any of the created attributes as well as per your own requirement there or you can edit any particular one by tapping on the edit option or you can delete a respective one by tapping on the delete option that is provided to the right of each of these uh, product attributes that are being listed here particular uh, section here uh, under the actions column there so to add or to create a product attribute or a new attribute what you need to do is you need to tap here on the add attribute button on the top right hand corner so I'll just tap on that and that would bring up this particular section as you can see here uh, wherein we have uh, the general section, label section, validations, configuration. So we just go through each of these sections uh, there and we'll see how we can add the attribute. So we'll be creating an attribute uh, uh, that's the uh, color attribute with the three validations that is red, blue and green and let's see how we can make use of uh, the same. So here we'll set the attribute code here. So let's set it as C O L O U R color new. Then we have to choose the type of the attribute. The type of the attribute can be text, text area, price, boolean, uh, select, multi select, date time, date, image, file, or checkbox. Now let's go with the multi select here. So what we need to do under the general settings, we'll set the attribute code and we'll choose the attribute type that is the multi select. Then we'll come down to the uh, label option. Here we'll set the label as new color for the admin to understand and for the different store waves or the, the different locales of your store, you can set up the uh, label as per your own requirement. So for now, I'll setting I'll be setting it as new color, new color uh, for the admin as well as for the English store there. Then after setting up the label here, I'll come to options. We can create default empty options by checking this option. Otherwise, to add the options, what we can do is we can tap here on the add option, and then we can set up the options here. So I'll set it as the admin name as red for the default store that's the english one i'll set it as red green green and uh, blue and blue so our label is new color and uh, or let's set it as, as choose color choose color choose color 
all right and uh, we have said the uh, what we say as the uh, attribute type as multi-select so a multi-select option would be available on the product edit page uh, within the uh, respective attribute family within which we have assigned this particular attribute to so right now we are just seeing how we can create the product attribute under the attribute option here so we have given the options as well uh, let me close this out let me close this out we are done with general label option under the validations you can set it whether it's required or not is unique or not so now for now we'll just leave that up and then under the configuration we have some other values that needs to be uh, set up for this uh, particular example what we'll be doing is because we want to show uh, the particular attribute on the product view page on the front end so we'll set the visible on product view page on the front end as yes you can also choose uh, it uh, choose to create uh, this particular product attribute uh, can be used basically if you set this option as a yes then you can use uh, this particular product attribute to create a configurable product attribute if you want to use this product attribute in the layered navigation you can choose this option as a yes you can set up values per channel as well as per your own requirement values as per locale as yes so for now i'll set it as no and no uh, you can set using late navigation as yes or no use to create configurable product as yes or no so for this particular example we will be setting the visible on product web page on front end as yes then we have created product flat table we will set it as no attribute is comparable we will set it as no for the time being and then we will be tapping here on the save attribute button but before saving it up under the options uh, we have to set the position of the attribute value so i'll set it as 0 1 and 2 for the red green and blue and then i'll tap here on the save attribute button as soon as i've tapped on the save attribute button the attribute would get saved here's the code color new the name is uh, choose color the type is multi-select and you can see uh, the option to edit this up or to delete this up is also visible here so this was how we can create the product attribute under the attribute options by navigating to this particular section and then going to attributes and then creating the particular attribute. Now let's see how we can assign the product attribute to a particular attribute family by editing the respective attribute family. For that you need to navigate to attribute families. Now uh, right now I'm uh, demonstrating this uh, on the default uh, attribute family you can have multiple attribute families as well as per your requirement because each product is unique and each product requires different product uh, attributes so as to create a particular product there so you can make use of the default one for the generalized products that don't require much of the product attributes there so you can use the attribute family as default for creating those products otherwise for example if you're using or you're creating a, uh, for example you are having a mobile phone so you can create a different attribute family for the mobile phone you have watches you can create different attribute uh, family for the watches as well and then uh, accordingly you can create the product attributes and assign those product attributes to the mobile phone and the watches there as per your own requirement then to create a mobile phone at that time you can choose that particular attribute family or while creating a watch you can choose the watch uh, attribute family at that time so for this example we will be choosing the default one itself so i'll tap here on the edit option for the attribute family that's the default attribute family and here if you see we have the group section groups are basically when we are creating a product then we have the general section that uh, has the SKU product number, name, URL key, uh, whether it's featured or not, whether it's vis uh, visible individually or not, guest checkout available or not, the status of the product. Then we have the description section, short description, long description, meta description. Then we have the price section. Then we have the shipping uh, length, width, height, weight, etc. So all of these product attributes have been uh, summed up in different uh, groups here under the general description meta description price shipping so these groups would be visible when you are creating a particular product then you need to complete these sections so as to create that particular product so what i'll do is i'll be going with the general section here for the product and here you can see that i have already added the size and the brand 
the same is visible here the size and the brand and here of for each of the uh, groups here uh, you can see that we have the add attribute button there for description as well and uh, for the general section as well right apart from that you can also add a new group as per your own requirement there so for now we'll just see how we can assign the product attribute to the attribute family to a particular uh, section there so i'll go with the general section and under the general section i'll be tapping here on the add attribute and here you can see that we have two different attributes one is the choose color and color the choose color is the one that we had created so i'll select that up and i'll tap here on the add attribute so the color new choose color has been added with the uh, what we see as the with the attribute type as multi select and i'll save the family thereafter right now let's see how uh, we can go to the product edit page and see the respective attribute under the respective uh, group there so uh, for that what i'll do is i'll just go to products and here for example if i edit this simple product that i had created that's the watch product i edit it up then here under the general you can see then we have the description meta description price shipping size card inventories images videos categories and other groups are there now we had edit the particular product attribute under the general section there on the general group there so here if i scroll down here we have the size we have the brand and here you can see that we have the choose color that's the multi select option as well so we can select these options here and then we can tap here on the save product button and now if i refresh this particular product on the store front we'll be able to see those uh, options here as well or the product attribute here as well so here we can see choose color and here we are actually we could have set it as only color or available colors basically we, we could have created the available colors as the product attribute and then we could have set it as red green and blue uh, as the attribute values that were selected by the admin there so the types can be as per the requirement there so if i go here i go to attributes as i already shown you if i tap here on the add attribute the attribute type can be text text area price boolean select multi-select date time date image file checkbox so accordingly you can choose the attribute type for your attribute that you're going to create and you can easily create the attribute and after creating the product attribute you can assign the product attribute to the attribute family and uh, then uh, uh, while creating a new product you can select that particular attribute family and you can see that respective attribute under the respective group uh, where you had inserted the product attribute at and then you can choose the value for the same and then you can save the product that and the same would then be reflected over the front end under the more information section there but you have to remember that uh, uh, for the product attribute while, while you are creating the attribute to display the particular uh, attribute on the product view page on the front end you have to set the visible on product view page on front end as a yes option there and only then that particular uh, product attribute would be visible under the more section or the more information section along with the values or uh, that was selected for that particular product there so yes that was much about how to add the attributes and how to display them on the product page under the more information section and i hope that this particular video helped you out in uh, understanding the same if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of bugisto.com or you can raise a ticket at bugisto.uvdesk.com as well Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.